Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today I'm going to share a simple card using the music from the heart. Uh, it's using the music note and the handle of the guitar. It's going to make the guitar. So what i done, I used the frame uh, stitch, the rectangle stitch. Come back here. Here we go. And this ear, it's the press pedal that I use. See, it's the, the side of the wood. So I cut that and this measure mm, 218 by three and a half. We're gonna use Versamark and I like to stamp the note first. So let's stamp the note. Oh, first let me uh, use my embossing buddy here. Here we go. I'm going to get my black embossing powder ready. And I'm going to put that right here. Just sideways a little bit. And it's kind of artsy uh, when you stamp with Versamark. So the easiest thing to do for me, so you can match it better, is to bring this, put your powder, tap it, and then come and do the other one. You don't have to emboss it in between. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put my and or I don't know what that's called. I should know but I don't. And then we're going to use more of the black embossing. So this is very quick. It's just to show you how you can do the guitar with the note and the top there. Here we go. Now let's bring the E2. You know what? I can see a fiasco here. Here we go. And I try with just black ink and that didn't work lovely. I needed something more pronounced. Here we go. That is done. See how simple this was? Okay, the other one, I didn't color the center of the heart. This time, we're going to color it. I'm going to use the dark um, blend. And what we're going to do, uh, let me use the small tip. We're just going to do the inside here. So this could be a Valentine's card for your lovey, or it could be um, a happy birthday. Today we're doing happy birthday, but you can switch the greeting and just say I love you. Now we're going to mount that on our very vanilla. And the very vanilla, that it's not the stitch framelit. This is just, oops, cut. And that measure... 258 by 3 and 7 8. I will have all measurement on my blog just right below. You get the link or above in the eye. Now, this is um, another stitch framelit, and this one measure um, 3 by 4 and 3 8. And we're going to put that here. And now for my card base, it's cut on the long way. And it's cut at four. That look not four. Let me do. Yeah, it's four and a quarter by eleven, score at five and a half. Where you see the end then, that's gonna go up, and the raised part, what we call the mountain, gonna stay inside. So that way it will not crackle at the top. If I would find a bone folder, oh, I do, I do. Just have a nice crisp fold. Now this is the heavy Whisper white cardstock. This one was the regular white cardstock. And you see a bit the my stamping, so I rather have the heavy. I'm using Memento ink. And this is all from the music, um, from my uh, from the heart. 
I'm going to put that right here. I got another video coming with that. How to stamp the music sheet, whatever, the lines, and all the music note. I don't know if it's going to come before this one or after. I don't know what I get scheduled. Now I'm using just the little dots here, the little music note. And I just did randomly. I bet somebody going to say, ooh, that don't make music. Um, you know what? I do not play music, but... I do have people in my house that play music. Brett played the piano. Nico played the piano. Also, uh, Mick, uh, when he was little, played the guitar a little bit. So I don't know what kind, if it's a flat, if it's... I don't have a clue, my friend. So I should go look the piano book and go from that, right? So that is done. Now we're going to take this. See, I had some black on my finger. I'm not worried about that because this is going to cover this. So we're going to put it more to the left. To the left, to the left. And then this. I'm going to put that right here. Just a little border keep there. Now this piece here measured three quarter. Uh, the the width of it and it doesn't matter how wide it is how long I mean it is because we're going to trim this a little bit here so I'm going to stamp and I cannot see with the camera we're going to eyeball it and see that's very good and cut it short and you're going to understand in a minute why short so I'm just going to cut this here do a little point in the center to flag it and then over here in the center and flag it on each side. For me, that's the easiest way. Now, I'm going to take my finger, go up, go up, and in the center, roll it. So now you get a nice curve. Many of you are going to say, well, why do that when you mail it? You're going to be surprised. It still poof a bit even in the mail. Now I'm just putting two glue dots on where it's raised up in the back and then we're going to go sideways. That's why you want it more on that side. Et voila my friend. And then inside you get place for more greeting but I can always add uh, my music note, do a border without the line. I would just do... something uh, just a little border at the bottom and then if you get another verse you want to put inside you get the place voila that is it for this quick and simple card with music from the heart here we go my friend that is it for now till next time happy stamping and again for all the supplies all measurement right below you get the link that's going to bring you right to my blog have a lovely day bye bye for now